Many times in the end games, you get into these positions where you're trying to race the pawns to get a queen, and one person gets the queen before the other. Something like similar to this. So let's say it's white to move here, push the pawn, black pushes the pawn. We push the pawn, we get a queen, and then black pushes the pawn, and it's on d2. So how do we know if white will be able to win this position or get a draw, and how do you win this position? So here are the rules. If the king is next to the pawn on the seventh rank, where the next move would turn to, into a queen, and if these pawns are in the center files and the knight files with the king next to it, then white uh, having the move with the queen will be able to win. However, if these pawns are bishop pawns or on the rook file and the king next to the pawns, this is a draw, even if it's white to move uh, having the queen. So let's take a look at the original position and see how, how will white be able to win. And also we're going to take a look to see why is a pawn on a bishop file or a pawn on a rook file a draw. Okay, so coming back to our original position, white just got the queen and black is going to get a queen on the next move. However, this is in the center files and uh, this will be a win for white having the move. Uh, what white will do is pretty much bring the queen closer and closer to the pawn, but first it's going to attack the king. So check. Let's say black will just run away, then white will attack the pawn since the king is not guarding it. The king will come and defend the pawn, then white will attack the king, and you gonna get closer and closer. Check the king, king will defend the pawn, and this is the position that you want. Check here. You're attacking the pawn and you're attacking the king is at the same time. If the black king moves over, obviously he's gonna lose the pawn and then this will be an easy win for white as he's just gonna bring the king closer and closer and uh, be able to checkmate the black king. So here, black, the only way to stop this pawn is moving the king in front of the pawn. Now, having the king in front of the pawn, that means the, his pawn will not be able to move and get a queen. Therefore, that gives you a move to be able to bring your king closer. So now let's say black will get out and try to push the queen. Well, white will try to stop that again. So check here with the queen. Let's say black tries to run on this side. We attack the pawn. He's going to defend. And then again, check here where we attack the pawn and attack the king at the same time. The only way that black will be able to uh, defend the pawn is moving in front. And this gives us again another uh, tempo to bring our king closer. Let's say king over here and same pattern check King let's say moves over um, attack the pawn uh, Defend it and then check again And the king will have to come in front of the pawn to be able to defend it and here we bring our king closer so The only move black has is to move on the side which white will just take the pawn check move it over and checkmate. So uh, you can see this is the pattern that we want to follow to be able to win the game. Okay, let's take a look and see why this pattern doesn't work for a bishop pawn and for a rook pawn. So here black has a bishop pawn and he's gonna try to get a queen in, in one move, but it's white to move. So white will try to do the same thing. Come and check the king. Let's say the king um, moves away and then we attack the pawn. And here, obviously if black is trying to defend the pawn and play the same way, you know, let's say queen check over here and black comes in front, then we will be able to win the game if he's gonna do the same thing and we keep on bringing the king closer. However, what black should do instead is after he's checked or even before he's checked, black should just run in the corner. After white takes the pawn, this is stalemate. Um, Black King is not a check, but he has nowhere to go. So this is the reason why it doesn't work for the bishop pawn. The only time that you don't want to step into the corner is this position right here, where the queen pins the pawn right on the other side of the pawn. Here you could see you cannot push the pawn down because you will be in check. So 
if you do step into the corner here and he takes the pawn yes this is stalemate you have nowhere to go How however the better move for white and a really great trick to know if you're playing white is queen to c1 check here black cannot protect the pawn anymore and he's going to be forced to move to a2 and after that the queen takes the pawn and win the game from here this can arise from a position similar to this one. Here you can see the queen covers the queening square, so we cannot promote to a queen right away. And maybe we could bring the king closer, and now the queen will come and pin the pawn. Here we talked about you don't want to step into the corner. To get a draw, you just have to go to b1. And if he pins you again, now you could run into the corner. Okay, let's take a look at the rook pawn. So here the same story. White has the queen, he has the move, and he's trying to stop black from queening, and he's trying to win the game. So here, let's say white comes here with check. Now, the rule that you want to follow is that you want to move the king up and down next to the pawn always. So here we will move queen to b1. Let's say queen f1 check. We're going to move next to the pawn, king b2. Queen e2, king to b1 again. King to d1, king to b2 again king to d2 king to b1 again so all we have to do is just move the king next to the pawn up and down the only time that you're not going to be able to move the king up and down next to the pawn is the time when the queen will come and check you vertically now you can see the queen attacks you on that file and it will be illegal to move to b2 so that's the only time that you want to move aside to the square c1 now there's a lot of coaches that teach students to move the king in front of the pawn when the queen attacks the king vertically on that file. And the reason for that is that if white is trying to make progress, let's say bringing the king closer, uh, this is stalemate. The pawn cannot move and black cannot get out and has no legal moves, therefore this is stalemate. But I don't like to teach it this way, just because there are two tricks that white can do here and win this game if black is not careful, especially if he's in time trouble, he might run into these problems. One of them is coming with the queen to e1, for example, and then if black gets out, let's say queen to d2, and now if black steps into the corner a1, queen to c1 is checkmate. Black is in check this time and has nowhere to go, therefore black is checkmated. Another example where white can pull up a trick on black and win the game if black steps into the corner is if white has the king on the bishop's file. Over here white can play something like queen to g7 check, let's say black steps to b1, then queen to h7 check, king to a1, queen to h1 check, king to b1, and now queen could come to b8 check, you could see checking the king on the file, and if black steps in front of the pawn on a1, white can bring the king to b6, covering the check from the queen, and now this is not stalemate anymore because black could come out, and let's say white will come closer, if black steps inside the square, white can do the same thing, queen to b4, and now white is actually winning. Let's say king to b2, white could come to c4 check, if black steps into the corner again, king to b3, and all black has is king to b1, then white can play queen to c7, and after black queens, queen to c2 is checkmate. And if here black moves to c1, white is still winning, he can attack the pawn, after defending it, he can come check, we saw already stepping in front doesn't help because of king to b3 so let's say king to c1 back attack the pawn defend we slowly bring the queen closer and after he moves here can go queen to d3 if he plays king to c1 then we could come to king to b3 and after he queens we got queen to c2 checkmate and if he goes in front of the pawn king to a1 we can simply bring the queen to d2 and all he's got is to move out on b1 and we could move the king to b3 after he gets a queen we're simply going to checkmate him on the c2 square so this is the reason why i teach my students to step on c1 when they are checked on that file instead of coming in front of the pawn 
and like this white will not be able to make any progress any horizontal checks we're just going to switch back moving next to the pawn we're going to just try to move up and down next to the pawn and whenever we're attacked on that file that's the only time that we're going to move to the square c1 and like this we're going to get a draw for the rook pawn